The Constellation class of multi-mission guided missile frigates is a United States Navy class of frigate based on the European Frem multipurpose frigate already in service with the Italian and French navies. Constellation follows the modular but problematic littoral combat ships of the Freedom and Independence classes 15. The U.S. Navy announced the FFGX frigate project in the United States Department of Defense's request for information or FI in July 2017, 14 16. The Navy selected five shipbuilders to present their ideas for a prospective design for the proposed 20 FFGX guided missile frigates. 3. In April 2020, the Navy announced that Fincantieri Marinette Marine had won the contract with a modified design based on the FREMM, designed by Naval Group Pan Fincantieri. The project was later renamed FFG-60 to program, after the lead ship of her class. 17. The United States Department of Defense. To US DOD, or DOD, is an executive department of the US federal government charged with coordinating and supervising the six US armed services, the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Space Force, the Coast Guard for some purposes, and related functions and agencies. As of November 2022, the department has over 1.4 million active duty uniformed personnel in the six armed services. 3. It also supervises over 778,000 National Guard and Reservist personnel, and over 747,000 civilians, bringing the total to over 2.91 million employees. 1. Headquartered at the Pentagon in Arlington County, Virginia, just outside Washington, D.C., the Department of Defense's stated mission is to provide the military forces needed to deter war and ensure our nation's security. For 5. The Department of Defense is headed by the Secretary of Defense, a cabinet-level head who reports directly to the President of the United States. The President is Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Armed Forces. Beneath the Department of Defense are three subordinate military departments, the Department of the Army, the Department of the Navy, and the Department of the Air Force. In addition, for National Intelligence Services are subordinate to the Department of Defense, the Defense Intelligence Agency. National Security Agency NSA, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, and National Reconnaissance Office. Other Department of Defense agencies include the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, Defense Logistics Agency, Missile Defense Agency, Defense Health Agency, Defense Threat Reduction Agency, Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency, Space Development Agency and Pentagon Force Protection Agency, all of which are subordinate to the Secretary of Defense. Additionally, the Defense Contract Management Agency is responsible for administering contracts for the Department of Defense. Military operations are managed by 11 regional or functional unified combatant commands. The Department of Defense also operates several joint services schools, including the Eisenhower School and the National War College. The name frigate in the 17th to early 18th centuries was given to any full-rigged ship built for speed and maneuverability, intended to be used in scouting, escort and patrol roles. The term was applied loosely to ships varying greatly in design. In the second quarter of the 18th century, what is now generally regarded as the true frigate was developed in France. This type of vessel was characterized by possessing only one arm deck, with an unarmed deck below it used for berthing the crew. Late in the 19th century British and French prototypes were constructed in 1858. A type of powerful ironclad warships was developed, and because they had a single gun deck, the term frigate was used to describe them. Later developments in ironclad ships rendered the frigate designation obsolete and the term fell out of favor. During the Second World War, the name frigate was reintroduced to describe a seagoing escort ship that was intermediate in size between a corvette and a destroyer. After World War II, several kinds of ships have been classified as frigates, and the reasons for such classification have not been consistent. While some navies have used the word frigate principally for large ocean-going anti-submarine warfare ASW combatants, others have used it to describe ships that are otherwise recognizable as corvettes, destroyers, and even nuclear-powered guided missile cruisers. Some European navies use the term for ships that would formerly have been called destroyers, as well as for frigates. 1. The rank frigate captain derives from the name of this type of ship. Development. The U.S. Navy procured the first FFG-60 to an FY2020. Citation needed. The next was awarded in April 2021, and the third in FY22. 
The U.S. Navy's proposed FY2020 budget request was $1.281 billion for the procurement of the first FFG-62. The U.S. Navy's FY2020 budget submission shows that subsequent ships in the class are estimated by the Navy to cost $850 to $950 million each in then year dollars, 18-4. The U.S. Navy's intention to buy the first FFGX in 2020 did not allow enough time to develop a completely new design for the platform. Consequently, the U.S. Navy intended for the design of the FFGX to be a modified version of an existing parent ship design. 15. 8. The RFI says, A competition for FFGX is envisioned to consider existing parent designs for a small surface combatant that can be modified to accommodate the specific capability requirements prescribed by the U.S. Navy. 14. The U.S. Navy wanted a frigate that could keep up with the aircraft carriers and had sensors networked in with the rest of the fleet to expand the overall tactical picture available to the group. The FFGX will normally aggregate into strike groups and large surface combatant-led surface action groups, but also possess the ability to robustly defend itself during conduct of independent operations while connected and contributing to the fleet tactical grid. 14. In January 2019, the U.S. Navy announced that the new frigate will have a minimum of 30 to Mark 41 vertical launch system cells aboard the ship for primarily anti-air warfare for self-defense or escort missions. 19. The U.S. Navy would like for the ship to be able to, citation needed, destroy surface ships over the horizon, detect enemy submarines, defend convo ships, employ active and passive electronic warfare systems, defend against swarming small boat attacks, 14. The class will use a combined diesel electric and gas hull, mechanical and electrical HN and E propulsion system, which has never been used in any other U.S. Navy ship. 20. The new propulsion system will be required to be tested on land in order to reduce the risk of engine failure, which has plagued the previous littoral combat ship LCS program. 20. The ongoing difficulties with the LCS were a major factor in the U.S. Navy's decision to kickstart the Constellation program. According to the Congressional Research Service, ongoing concerns include LCS survivability in a conflict, their limited armament, and their ability to complete the missions they were designed for. 21 other problems include their high-cost double original projection and maintenance costs. 22. Contenders, six shipbuilders submitted proposals for conceptual designs to the U.S. Navy FFGX frigate program, 723 in February 2018. The U.S. Navy announced that from these proposals, they had selected five shipbuilders, with each awarded a $15 million contract to produce conceptual designs for the FFGX. 3. These shipbuilders were Austal USA, Fincantieri Marine Group, General Dynamics, Huntington Ingalls Industries, and Lockheed Martin. 3. Atlas North America submitted the Mechaway 200, but was not selected for a conceptual design contract. Seven three ship designs from these five shipbuilders were evaluated by the U.S. Navy to inform the final specifications that would be used for the FFGX request for proposal in 2019 and the intended contract war in 2020. 3. In May 2019, Lockheed Martin withdrew from the competition. 24. Contract war. On 30 April 2020, it was announced that Fincantieri Marinette Marines from Design had won the contest and was awarded a $795 million contract for detailed design and construction of the lead ship, with options for nine additional ships, 26 in May 2021. The U.S. Navy issued Fincantieri Marinette Marie a $554 million contract to start building the future USS Congress FFG-63, 27, construction. On 2 April 2024, USNI News reported that the Constellation-class frigates were delayed by three years, I issues concerning shipyard backlogs and a lack of skilled workers. 28 a year later, in April 2025, it was reported that the first frigate of the class, Constellation, was only 10% complete. 29. Furthermore, the design had yet to be finalized and approved. 29. In June 2021, the Navy announced that Naval Station Everett in Washington would be the future home of the first 12 ships of the class, 30. Naming, in April 2020, it was revealed that for proposed names were put forward by outgoing Acting Secretary of the Navy, 
Thomas Maudley. He expressed a desire for the first ship to be named Agility with the class designated Agility class. Other names put forward were Intrepid, Endeavor, and Dauntless. However, Navy leaders said Maudley's proposed names would not be adopted. 41. In July 2020, it was reported by the War Zone that the lead ship would be named USS Brook FFG AE. 42. Later the U.S. Navy clarified via Twitter that reports about reusing the USS Brook name for a new warship were erroneous. 43. In October 2020, Navy Secretary Kenneth Braithway announced the first FFGX frigate would be named USS Constellation FFG-62. 40. For in December 2020, Secretary Braithway announced that the second ship of the class will be named USS Congress FFG-63. 30 to 45. In January 2021, Secretary Braithway announced that the third ship of the class will be named USS Chesapeake FFG-64. All three ships are named after three of the U.S. Navy's original six frigates. 34. United States ship naming conventions have historically named frigates after U.S. Navy and Marine Corps heroes or leaders. A report to Congress in February 2021 advised that the U.S. Navy had not stated that this naming scheme was a change in their rules for naming ships. 46. 